Hey guys, uh, just one more really quick video. I know after our supplemental schools PLP training with Dan today that a lot of you are reconsidering uh, using Google Classroom and you would like to use it uh, and link it to your school's PLP. And so I just wanted to remind you that you really should go into your Google Classroom. And if you did not do this at the end of uh, last year, as you can see, I did not, um, that you should archive your your periods from last year. It's really, really simple. You uh, go up here to these three little dots on the class and you click archive. And that way when um, students da, 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 okay, can't be updated unless you restore them, that's fine. This class will be moved to your archive class, that's fine. So that way when students uh, log in, and it does sound like a lot of other teachers are going to be uh, using Google Classroom, but we don't want the students to get confused about their classes from last year and their classes from this year. So go ahead and just again, click on those three buttons and click archive and yes we do want to do that if you uh, should need to access your archived classes at all you just go up here to the three lines and uh, all of your archived classes can be found down here and then you can look at your old classes uh, it says you can't update them but why do we need to update them um, i would guess you just need to like go in and see um stuff that was submitted last year in case somebody is i don't know disputing a grade so anyway that's how you do that and um there you go